Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we are looking at Starlink, a company that Elon Musk has hinted could IPO sometime soon. Currently, there is a problem with the internet. Um, it is not available worldwide and it is slow. Elon Musk is trying to solve the problem that Google and Facebook tried and failed to do. Currently, in 2021, Starlink have sent into space over 1,600 satellites. The Starlink internet service is available in over 17 countries and the aim is to make it worldwide. Watch this video and find out how Starlink are going to achieve this and why Starlink might be a good investment in the future. So, what is the problem with cable and 5G that Musk needs to introduce Starlink? Well, the traditional satellite internet system is provided by a bus-sized spacecraft that is over 2,000 miles in orbit in space. The problem is that one satellite cannot reach all of the people on Earth and that it has a limited data capability, limiting connections, speed and causing buffering. So how does Starlink solve this problem? The first way is by having a total of 42,000 satellites circling the Earth. The reason you need so many is that people are on the move and you need satellites covering overhead the many users that need it. Secondly, with Starlink, satellites are much closer to the end user, between 200 and 400 miles. They also have laser beams connecting to each other, enabling you to get a really good signal to your pizza-sized dish that's got an antenna. So, what does that mean in practice? It means that if you are in a remote village in Africa or Latin America, you will be able to pick up a signal if you have a satellite dish with an antenna. But what does it mean for everyone else who already has internet? Well, it means no buffering, it means no slow speeds and it means you'll be able to download your films and games very very quickly. It also means it's very very good for business. Before I get into the end and tell you about what few problems there are with Starlink and how Starlink is solving them, remember to hit that subscriber button and like button. It helps the algorithm and helps me make more videos. And finally, I will tell you why Starlink is likely to IPO soon. So what are the issues for Starlink at the moment? Well, firstly, they need to get more satellites into space. So they need to increase that from 1,600 satellites to 42,000 satellites. Currently, each Falcon rocket can take up to 60 satellites up into space. SpaceX is building a Starship that will allow up to 400 satellites to go up. The second problem Starlink has is with astronomers who say they cannot see the stars and planets because of the amount of uh, satellites in space. To deal with this problem, Starlink is painting all their satellites black. Thirdly, Elon Musk is very conscious of the amount of debris in space. The $300,000 satellites have two functions which alleviate this problem. Firstly, they are able to avoid collisions with each other as they orbit and also, secondly, with their Krypton plasma thrusters, they can also maneuver themselves to self-destruct by positioning themselves in the Earth's atmosphere when they are no longer in use, avoiding any debris by burning up. So finally, why is Starlink likely to IPO soon? Well, at the moment, there is a space war with China and Russia wanting to get to Mars first. With Starlink biting into the satellite trillion dollar industry, they will be able to help fund the SpaceX project. And that's why Elon Musk is pushing this for potential IPO in the future. 
question to you is, if Starlink was to IPO, would you be interested? And secondly, would you pay $499 for a Starlink dish and $99 per month for Starlink? Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.